Hey, um, what's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? <clears throat> How do we win the account? Normally, at the end of the lives, we ask you guys a question. Whoever gets it right first wins the funded account. How's the Monday, y'all? How's the market looking today? Did you guys make money today? Account verification process. If you want to get your account verified, you just need to submit your ID, proof of residence, and your bank statement. All those should be dated within the previous or within three months, within the previous three months. How do I get a bonus on vault markets? Um, just go to your back office and open a bonus account. You can choose the 100 bonus or the 200 bonus. You still in Kikali? Nah, I'm back, bro. Where can I get Vault Market merch? Just visit your nearest Vault Market office. Yo, man, how you doing? Hey, what's up, champ? I'm good, man. How are you doing? I'm good, man. How's, how's the market treating you today? Very, very good. I made about... <laughs> Um, five hundred dollars, I think. Still holding these trades. Those who know me, um, I what I usually do is, I usually trade small amounts. Um, I'm with the Rev. I mostly trade with the Rev synthetic indices, and the reason why is I'm I saw on your profile that you also trade synthetics. So you you I'm pretty sure that you know about. Uh, let me just um. So okay, there we go. So I'm pretty sure yeah, that you've I seen. Trade, I trade I trade synthetic indices on on both markets. Yeah, the yeah. 20. So it's very easy. It's yeah, very easy in my opinion. To the the twenty four seven account, yeah. So it's it's very easy to make money on synthetic indices, and what I've realized is there is no outside influence which can actually manipulate the market. If I understand what I'm trying to say, so anything can happen in in a country, for example, it's not going to affect like effect volatility or range break or crash and boom. It's for me, it's pure price action, and I love it. Okay. I love it. Yo, yo, so I have a question and I was, I'm also sure a few people are also wondering just if you could just introduce yourself to us, bro, as who you are okay, so, and uh, basically okay, so a, background, a background on what you do. Okay, so basically I'm Jevin Farrell uh, by government. Okay. I go by Jevin Shaw, but, um, you know, a lot of things happened in my life. So I have, a, I have a very weird story, but I won't go too much, too deep into that. People can follow me and then, you know, they'll actually can... Yeah, no, no, need, no, no need to get that personal, bro. <laughs> so yeah, then um, the reason why um, I started Federal Markets, I started my own trading company, Federal Markets, where I educate people on how to trade. And the reason how this also happened was, I'm, I'm sure every person in this life has been scammed before. They know this industry is, it's brutal. It's brutal. So basically, I, I started off and, and, and I worked for a trading company where we used to cold call people, tell them to sign up and so forth. In my first week there, I was introduced to FPS. Uh, back then, they still had the 123 bonus account. And my first week, I tripled the account, made this, I made a small deposit, and I got the money. Now, to me, that opened my eyes to Forex. You know? So now, obviously, as time gone, I went on, someone helped me with signals. You know, and obviously to me, I, I had, the, I was very egotistical. I had this mindset that, oh, I made this money, so I don't need you anymore. So I, I didn't pay this person for, for helping me and so forth, which I admit I was wrong. So then basically did, that's when I started learning my lesson. In a sense, in a sense of, um, 
I realized that I need to be educated. So then I started buying courses. I bought software. I bought EAs. I've paid for account management. I've done investments. Nothing worked out for me. Then the last group I was in, I'm not going to name drop anyone, but I was in this group. And then the people in the group asked questions like, why is this person not helping us? So I obviously realized when I'm being helped and I did a lot of research. So I started sharing the things I started discovering from my own perspective and it started helping people. Then I started a channel on Telegram where I would just send out content where, where like if I find a PDF which helped me, I would send it for free. Then eventually I started making money. I started making like at least a 150 a day. And my thing is, um, I know there's a lot of money in the market, but I've realized that the reason why most people blow their accounts and so forth is because they think they can make a million overnight. And if you have debt and stuff like that, and you don't know how to manage your money, the most important thing for us is to actually like literally manage what you have, if that makes sense. Because if you can't manage a thousand rand, how are you going to manage a million rand? Of course, you're going to lose it. So then basically, um, I started federal Markets and I started um, teaching people to trade. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, but, 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 but what really made me profitable is the fact that instead of getting myself a mentor that is well known, I went to a hedge fund. I found a trader who trades millions of rands. And then I asked this person, like, how do you do it? And this person started, started giving me inside information, if that makes sense. You can't find this information on Google in a sense of there's a different way these people analyze the market. They look at different things. So I started doing that and I'm teaching that now, for example. And yeah. It's way beyond just technical analysis, way beyond that. Yeah, I know that's, that's very good, bro. It's a very good initiative that um, you actually started your own company where you educate people. I feel like that's very necessary. Um, it's actually one of the fundamentals when actually getting into this, you need that education. So yeah, big ups for that, bro. So I also that's just nice. had a, I also had other few questions. Um, so normally when you start off trading what what does your week look like when you plan out your week how do you plan it out how does your mondays look like how do you prepare your charts and just basically preparation wise how do you this do all a, of this that that's a very interesting question a very interesting question a lot of people think that they need a computer or laptop to trade if there's anyone here struggling with trading right i started off with the samsung j1 small samsung you know, I only use that phone to trade. Now, what I do is every Sunday, I basically, okay, on Saturdays, I've, I have a subscription with, with TradingView. So I use the bar replay. Now, every, every weekend, I take like 100 to 200 trades, just bar replay, testing my strategy. That allows me to see more trades, more real-time movement without the real-time risk, if that makes sense. Um, so I would do that. I would test my strategy. Sunday, usually, I would look at the upcoming news events, depending on what market I'm be trading. I love trading oil. Oil is one of my favorite pairs because I believe stuff like oil, silver, gold, they're spiritual, you know. They come from the earth. And you, as humans, we can't really put a value on that. Sometimes say we can try and manipulate the market and create values, but it will never actually lose its value, if that makes sense. So then what I do is I have a method I call the weekly structure. But this method only starts working on a Monday morning. So I wait for the first two, four hour candles to form. Then I throw a box. This box becomes my, my, my basis for the week. And if price breaks above that high, I look for sales. If it breaks below that, that box, I look for buys. Those of you who study Peter Market Maker, that's a very good example. The, the, first, the first breakout of the week is the fake move beginning of the week. So then basically, I have my points of interest, my order blocks, my target zones, whenever. Then I also set alerts on my trading view. So I don't have to sit in front of my screen like a zombie the whole day. So when I only trade when price reaches my point of interest. Then I set alerts at my stop loss and at my take profit. So I only check my phone when my alert is hit to enter a trade or when I'm stopped out or take profit. Because the more you watch your phone, the more you watch the numbers, you will get induced to enter a trade. This is why they say, if more people sat on their hands while watching the charts, you'll make more money. I promise you, if you start sitting on your hands, you'll make more money. So then what I didn't do is, I know, also know what time the market moves. So I, I, I trade in London session, nine to half past nine I enter. And then I would usually hold, depending on the target, I would usually hold for two hours or the whole day. And I also yeah. usually enter um, 
nutrition. So basically, my main thing is, uh, my main thing is, I never force trades. I wait for price to come to my points of interest. And also, the more you trade certain pairs, the the more you start forming this relationship with the pairs. In other words, you will start seeing things that will start happening without even happening yet. In the sense of you already know just the way this candle drops, for example, the next candle is going to form confirmation and the next one will form like a strong move to the upside. So, so you start seeing things before they happen, if it makes sense. Um, but my main thing is also every night before I sleep, I set certain goals. So mm-hmm. that then programs my mind while I sleep in the morning. So when I wake up, I know exactly what, what I need to do. I don't wake up and like, what am I going to trade today? What I have to do? I already know why I wake up, what I'm going to trade, what my target is, etc. So planning your day is very, very important. Your, your life is controlled by your habits, your rituals, and your routines. And um, yeah, that's basically it. That's basically it. Preparation and then doing analysis and then waiting for my alerts to hit. No, that's, that's solid, bro. So just to recap, you basically do your analysis and you wait for the market to come to your entry points. That's good, yes. bro. And I, I like something that you also mentioned that it's very important to know when not to trade as well. That's very important. So the market I've realized is um the market is alive. The market is really alive. Some people don't realize it. Some people think it's random numbers. It's not. The market is same same as we have seasons. Different seasons bring different climate conditions. Same thing with the market. The market has different seasons, different conditions as well. So like you have to really be able to spot and like realize what condition the market is in because in other words some people like to trade when the market is slow and they and they would scalp some people like to trade when it's volatile and they catch swing trades you know so understanding yourself as an individual as well your risk appetite per se that also plays a very big role okay so also now i know that this just didn't happen overnight you knowing where to draw these boxes and knowing where to draw these order blocks and stuff. It must have taken some time, I understand. But um, a lot of times, I mean, if people like me and other people look at you, they just see where you are today, but we didn't really see where you came from. So us seeing where you are today, it makes us believe that if we do what you're doing, we can also just be where you are right now in a matter mm-hmm. of, like in no, in no time basically a, a get rich quick mindset you understand so what what's your say to those people that have that get this thing is a get rich quick mindset what's your say to those people um i would say look at all the all the all the um very famous investors look at the warren buffett's the george toros them uh, donald trump them they didn't make millions overnight they didn't make millions overnight I think the problem with society and 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 humans in general is they um you know, remember this way a lot of people rush themselves with other people's timeline. They don't see in place like this. I also understand that some of them have a lot of stress, they have debt and stuff like that. But the thing is, we okay, I don't I don't want to sound religious, but we are made in God's image, right? God is a creator. That means you are a creator. Everything happening in your life is a direct effect from your past and present thoughts. So the only way to create a better future is to make better decisions in this moment. And the moment is only now. The past was now, the future is now. Hence, people should make the best of it. Um, what the get rich screen, uh, other thing is also how they set their goals. You can't just become rich. What is your vision for becoming rich? For example, me, why I started trading. There was one night I was in matric. I was 18 years old. I had a friend. Now, I don't come from the best background and stuff like that. Um, I had a friend who asked me for a five rand just to buy him, his wife, and his child some bologna for the night. I, could, I didn't even have a five rand to give him. That's not even one dollar. I knew when I come home, I can't take anything from home because we were also struggling. I lived Elwell, okay, so currently I'm in Elwell North, but I relocated to Port Elizabeth, and um, I'm actually back here now visiting, and I told everyone, I told everyone when I left here, I'm going to go, wherever I'm going, I'm going to make money, I'm going to come help people, so my thing was, my main thing for wanting to make money is helping others, honestly, um, 
I, I actually told Ray this the other day. Everything I want in life is not material. It's all it's all emotional things. So be it acknowledgement, it's emotional. Be it being valued, it's emotional. Seeing people in poverty, suffering, that's emotional. I always say, I want to make so much money. I want to give the money away. You know, I had my biggest month last week. I mean, last month, I made, a, I made my 500K. 56K of that money went towards other houses, groceries, and clothes for people and stuff like that. And, you know, I realized in that moment, and I never wear jewelry and stuff like that. I was tempted to buy. Um, I, okay, so I, I bought some jewelry. It's my money, obviously. But the only reason why I bought it is to help a friend who was working for American stores reach, reach his commission target. But even when I wore the jewelry, I realized this is not who I am. This is not why I do what I do. And another thing with the Get Rich Quick Scheme is also what I want to mention. Is, um, um, if you make $10 daily, that's 150 rand. That is minimum wage. If everyone can have this mindset, let me try to pay my bills, right? I believe people will become so much more profitable because, they, like I said, they won't be trading for the cars, for, for, for the houses and so forth. Like, trade to pay your bills first, for example. And then people will really, you will really start seeing a big, big difference. Wow. That's, um, I, okay, I never looked at it at a religious point of view like that, but seeing it from that point of view now, that's actually crazy. But, uh, but yeah, that's, that's really good that you see it that way. And uh, um, you mentioned something about making $10 every day. Um, would you consider that as one of your risk management factors? And also, can you just also touch on how you manage your that's risk management. as a trader, bro? I feel like that's okay, so, very important and others should also so basically, probably take from so you. Basically for, so basically for me, um, when I traded Forex currencies, I didn't have much success. But then I realized there's reasons why currencies move so slow. The market makers can't move the, 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 can't move the price up and down randomly because they're going to crash economies. So economies should stay stable sometimes. Hence, this is why people don't make money on Forex. Check. Now, on the synthetics, I realized, um, okay, let me put it this way. In 2020, I made, I made my first 20K. I put in 300 Rand, which was at the time $20. Within two days, I flipped the account to 20K. And um, what I did was, like I said in the beginning, form a relationship with your peers. So I use, I have this rule, I use fixed stop losses, either 10 to 25 pips, depending on literally the entry. If, if like, it also, also depends on the volatility of the day. So for example, you trade synthetics, uh, boom, 500. It moves, it moves very slow. So I use 10 pips stop losses. So let's say, and the smallest lot size is 0 0.20. Now, if I place a 10 pips stop loss, I know exactly I, I'm risking $2. So basically, Whenever you enter trade, know exactly how much you are risking. Because another thing is, I'm sorry for those who use one, two, three risk, risk reward, um, 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 risk management, but to me, that is not worth it. If your risk reward can become one to five, then you will start seeing a big difference in your trading. Because then another thing, how I manage my risk, if I say I have a hundred dollars um, with the RIV, just an example. I would put $30 in my trading account and I would try and flip that account to my initial deposit because then I have $70 extra. Then basically the whole idea is also um, how, I'm, how every time, okay, I don't deposit money anymore because I'm trading on the market's money now. But when I, but when I come up, I realize that whenever you can double your money, withdraw your deposit and then you trade in the market's money, there's no reason for you to be greedy. There's no reason for it to be greedy because it's not your, it's not, it's your money, but it's not taking your money. It's free money coming your way. The thing about greed, it's a sin. People must remember that. This can also relate to not taking a profit or holding onto losses like a sloth. Okay? Now, a lot of, uh, 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 so, my, so, so my main thing is also I have this thing called a trading plan. If those, those of you who want it, you can literally just inbox me. I, I'll set up a trading plan for you based on your, um, your account balance. Then I have a percentage. People must stop looking at numbers. 
if your search for happiness is numbers, your search for happiness will never end because numbers never end. Look at all the big companies, billion dollar companies, Twitter, um, um, Twitter, uh, Tesla, uh, Microsoft. Look at the annual reports or the quarterly reports. It's in percentages. It's in percentages. And not just that, ne? these companies, these hedge funds, etc., they make about what? 20 to 40% profit per year. You can make that per month, per week. Understand what I'm trying to say? So like, have, like I said, mindset is everything. For example, me, for example, ne? if I make 100% profit, okay, let me not exaggerate. If I can make 10% profit on my account on a daily basis, that is 400% gain in a month. If you really think about it, that's more successful than a hedge fund, than a reputable company that's big and so forth. I'm trying to say, people should, um, individuals should recognize their power. They should not worship idols, if that makes sense. That's, that's, where, the, that's where the whole confusion comes in. Because now you want to flip your account because you want to be like Jason or you want to be like, like, like Clint or you want to be like whoever the case. Understand what I'm trying to say? Don't rush yourself with other people's timelines. We have different purposes. We have different roles to play in this, on, on this earth. But the question is also, what is your purpose? And the beautiful thing about purpose is no one can tell you what your purpose is. You decide what it is. So if you have any goals, use trading, for example, to fund that and like I said, um, I don't know how to describe it, but like greed is such an interesting thing, man. It's such, it's such an interesting thing and, and yeah. how it operates in the mind. But, but yeah, so, excuse me. I, I feel like we went off a little bit off topic there. But yeah, I get, okay, yes, with, yes, the whole, <laughs> yeah, I get with all risk management that you should break up the money. And I mean, it's not financial advice. You're just speaking from a personal perspective, right? Yes, yes, yes. So you should just break yeah. up the funds and fund them in portions try to grow it to the initial amount and withdraw your initial amount and trade the profits. That's basically your risk management. Basically, like, like, like Warren Buffett says, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Okay, yeah, I know that. And that's, that, that's good, bro. That's a very good risk management plan. So I would like to just conclude this by asking, what would you say is your favorite vault market account type and why? I would say... Um, the vault 100 um, because you get some extra equity but okay. but people must not see the equity as part of the balance because your account will blow if your if your free margin um you know if if you get a margin call the reason why i like it is because vault markets gives everyone the opportunity to trade even if you have 100 grand and if you sign up with that folks see this goes back to the greed factor if some okay, so obviously some trades you can't enter due to the margin, but that credit can up your margin. And if you are really disciplined, if you have a small account, if you wait and you have patience and the price come to you, that credit, that small amount of credit can push your account to massive lens. Massive, massive lens. And um, so basically my thing is um I always say if 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 you can get money, like credit, for example, use it against person who gives it to you because you're now given an opportunity to grow that money and you know um, 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 take it to the next level but my main thing is um, 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 people mustn't misunderstand the, the, the career situation that's the whole thing but it can help everyone who doesn't have enough money to enter certain trades in certain days due to the margin okay and also um, and also I think tight spreads very very tight spreads so Especially on the indices, it's very nice to trade both markets on indices and the credit because if you can, because then you can actually, okay, let me put it this way. If you trade a 0 0.01 lot size on Vault, you trade NASDAQ. Now, obviously, it's going to be very volatile if it's, not a, if it's not a micro account. But with the credit, for example, if, you, if you're going to enter the stop loss, it's going to blow your account anyway. Credit, this is not financial advice. This is my own personal opinion because I believe I'm disciplined enough to do this. So like I said, if this one position is going to blow your account anyway, for example, due to your stop loss, because some people have wide stop losses and you are patient enough and you enter based on your initial deposit and also use some of the credit to add another position. Now you have obviously more risk, but think about this. If this thing is going to go to profit, it's going to quadruple 
triple your account, for example. And from there on, that is a huge boost for your account because like I said, now you can withdraw your initial profit again, your initial deposit again. Um, but yeah, that's my main thing. People should just um, understand how to use their money. Oh, okay. Now then that's, that's great, bro. So uh, normally what we do after these live videos, we normally do a giveaway of a funded account to one of the lucky viewers. So we just mm -hmm. ask them a, a random question. So I'll be asking a random question and you can help me choose a winner, man. Okay, cool. Sounds okay, good. So, so basically the rule is I ask the question, whoever answers the question correctly and first to do so wins the funded account. So just to be okay. fair, we choose the person who answers it first. Sounds good. Okay, cool. So I'll post it and pin it here. So basically, um, Vault Market is an award-winning broker. So if any of you guys can name three awards Vault Market won, you guys will win yourself a 500 rand funded account. So let's see who has the answer. The next NFP is on October the 7th. Uh, this person will ask repeat again. Uh, Vault Market is a winning, uh, a winning, award-winning broker. Name three awards Vault, Vault Markets have won. That's the question. It's also a pin question. Just check your comments, guys. The question is pinned there. Okay, so this guy said best broker, fast withdrawal, award-winning. Okay, you're not really making sense. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm assuming there should be three answers on the comment, right? Yeah, three answers. Without them, most, Seseko, I see you there, I see you there. Okay, most, maybe, secure maybe. Broker, most secure broker is right, but then I just see one. Two more, we need two more answers. Okay, most secure broker, most innovative broker, and fastest withdrawals. The last one is almost, bro. Almost. The last one you just I have think to be we, a bit more specific. I think someone I think I think someone someone has something there. Fast withdrawal, yes. more secure, most innovative. Yeah, Cindy Cindy RSA is onto something. She just needs to answer the last one correctly. And she won herself a funded account. Come on, Cindy. Most secured and fastest and safest. Nah. Clearly these people haven't been doing their homework, man. <laughs> like my main thing is if you sign up with the broker understand your broker understand who you put your money with form a relationship with your broker so you don't oh. end up saying that your broker is doing this and that you know if you don't understand who you're signing up with ignorance is bliss you know it's nothing to read guys it's nothing to read it's it's remember knowledge is power okay well this guy said um i said customer service most secure um fastest growing okay he has two correct one is off there is one um the most secure broker most the broker fast withdrawals in africa is that the correct answer where which one where is that one uh look at kaylee blossom which her answer is most secure broker, most innovative broker, fastest withdrawals <clears throat> in Africa. I can't see any blossom here, bro. Uh, Kaylee Blossom, look at, uh, yeah, I've also noticed that the comments isn't showing up on both our sides as um, on time. 
Um, yeah. I'll have to wait for it to load. You guys, if if you guys can just word it in one text, that will make it very easy for us to choose a winner. Because you guys are just getting the answers. Some people get it right, other people don't, other people do. And then it looks messy. If you can just word the three awards in one text, come on, guys. Um. Uh, where's your comments now? Um, who's the last person who commented? Okay, it's on Zay- your side. Zaytiano. Okay. That's on, on my okay, side. So, that's okay, so okay, so. Okay, so just scroll up from oh, so the one, two, three, four. The fourth one above him. Check that answer. Is it CJ Corsi? Um, just okay, above that one also. Most secure broker. Fast growing. Fast growing. Fast growing broker and then best customer service. Okay, CJ Nkosi, there we go. So CJ Nkosi, you just won yourself a 500 rand funded account. Kindly do DM us your CU number and your email address. And your funds will be allocated to you accordingly. Congratulations, my man. Congratulations. So, okay, so before, before I end the live, because I know these people always come for me after the live, you do agree that it's CJ and Corsi that answered it correctly first, right? Well, um, there was a comment there, but I can't necessarily choose that person because it's going to be a conflict of interest. Um, but let's go yeah, with uh, the person you just mentioned. Let's go yeah, with the person you just mentioned. Let's let's use him. Because there were people who, who kind of had it. They had they had two answers correct, but one was off. But yeah, CJ and Kosi, yep. congratulations, bro. Um. Anyways, thank you very much for tuning in, bro. Um. You really shed some light. I hope um you guys really took note on what he said. I hope it was very helpful to you guys. And oh yeah, again, and, and for those and for those who want um for those who want like free knowledge, go to YouTube and search Jevin Farrell. I have some content there from years ago. So obviously, if if I posted that three years ago and I'm and I made a hundred k now, it's obviously it works. And I'm also I also post a lot of content this year, so there's a lot of information that everyone can use. In there, I talk about not only analysis. I'll also talk about risk management mindset and a lot of other things. So yeah, go check it out. And you know, like I always said, knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. And the more you learn, the most the more profitable you can be. So yeah. Okay, cool, bro. Thank cool man. It was so nice to meet you and I hope you, I hope we can do this again soon. Sure, bro. Cool my man. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys can feel free to tune in next week, Monday. If you didn't win the giveaway, don't feel down. You can still stand a chance to win the giveaway next week, Monday, guys. Just tune in, same place, same time.